Hi there, Brian Scott here. Uh, I promise you I'll show you how I uh, add smoke steam uh, to images uh, via uh, smoke brushes and layers. S uh, smoke brushes uh, are things that you can download on the internet for free. Uh, one site that's uh, pretty good to uh, go to is uh, deviantart.com. Uh, they have lots of free stuff and uh, things that you uh, can use if you don't sell your images. If you sell your images, uh, then maybe you have to pay some for, uh, for to be able to uh, use the brushes. Uh, but uh, here we have an image that's just a glass. And I thought this would be a perfect image to show you uh, the steam uh, as if it was a hot beverage in the glass. Uh, so uh, we do like this. We uh, start with a new layer on top of the background layer. Go to brushes. And I have already downloaded uh, several brushes. And uh, go down to uh, some that are like uh, smoke or steam, like uh, this one. And it's a default size on it, but it's easy to just increase it. And you see it, it's a little bit uh, strange it's to, to, the, to the left. So I just tug this so it's more upright, like that. And one thing that you have to do is, uh, or have to do, it's uh, use, for example, white. And uh, click once in the new layer. You can take the opacity to, uh, of the brush to 100 at first. And then you click like that. There is the uh, smoke steam from uh, this brush. Uh, for me this is unnatural uh, and I usually do things to these, this layer that I uh, use for uh, brush, smoke brushes uh, and I'll show you what I do. Uh, I go down to more, I just hide that away. One thing that you can do uh, on this layer is to blur it out. Uh, so you use uh, your filter, blur, and I usually use Gaussian blur. And already now you see it's a better uh, showing us a better uh, wave, not so hard uh, steam. But I would go up more or less, maybe like that. And it's not so uh, visible anymore. You can move the steam because it's on its own layer. So you move it down like that. And one thing more that I uh, usually do is I tweak uh, the things that's on its own layer by uh, going to Edit, Transform, and Warp. And by warping, uh, you can take. Uh, the thing that's in the layer and squeeze it to your liking. Maybe a bit like this, a little bit bigger at the base. This and there. Just press enter when you think you're more or less done. It takes a little bit to get it and you can still move it around. Uh, for me it's not as good as I want it because it's just one brush. Then you can go into brushes again Choose another one of your uh, smoke brushes. And we'll see if I can find any one that's suitable. Try this one. 
and make a new layer and press this one like that you can also flip this layer it's on that side instead and once more we go up to filter and uh, blur Gaussian blur make it the radius to the same as before and uh, I think that we will tweak this one also by edit and transform and warp and this one I want to have it like this up a little bit maybe like that And you can still move that around if you want to and take the other one and move it like like that there yeah, maybe you can put these two layers into one by uh, just selecting them both and merge layers and now when you move you move both uh, layers that just become one that's one way to uh, do this by using uh, smoke brushes. Uh, I have another one uh, or another way that you can do. I think Vienna uh, said in one of her posts that you could use uh, clouds images and that's a very good uh, way to make steam uh, visible on, on your images. I show you that one. Uh, just delete this uh, layer and go into uh, Lightroom. And I have a uh, folder that's textures and clouds and uh, several clouds that I have photographed. Uh, I think we use this one. Open that up in uh, Photoshop. And for this uh, to work great, uh, usually you have to uh, change the blending mode of the layer. So here is uh, the image and we just go down here and move that to the first one with the glass. Like that. Uh, and if we change the blending mode of that layer directly, uh, we use screen instead. You see that it's all all when you use screen uh, as layer mode on uh, images, all things that's black disappears, and all things that are white will be visible. Uh, the sky wasn't black in this image, so you still see a little bit of it, but that's okay because we're going to use uh, the opacity slider on this layer to reduce the visibility. But it's it's a starting point. This um, place it as you would like over the glass, maybe something like that, and you add a, a layer mask on it and go to brush change the brush to a normal brush not a smoke brush for this one <clears throat> and then uh, on this layer mask you paint uh, with black and uh, yes look so you have uh, the hardness set to zero uh, so you don't get any visible um, uh, 
edges uh, from the layer still in the final image. And uh, then you just make the brush quite big and paint on the layer mask and you see that uh, the image is hidden behind uh, the black that you paint on uh, the layer mask. And change the opacity a little bit on uh, the brush. So we take it down to uh, sixty percent. Make the brush a little bit smaller. And then we can adjust a little bit more. Um, thing is that you don't want it to completely be removed, but you want it to uh, be a little bit bit more realistic. Usually it's not uh, themes everywhere. It's maybe it's coming there. And then we uh, take the opacity uh, down a bit. Maybe like that. can still move this one around like that I think it's quite good uh, it can always this is done very quickly so uh, you can uh, take your time with it and get it really realistic but uh, this way you well you had two ways now uh, with brushes uh, and download the smoke brushes from, uh, for example, deviantart.com, as I said. Or you can go out and uh, photograph in clouds and uh, take your uh, own images uh, of clouds and use them as uh, steam images on your food images. Great! Hopefully this was uh, somewhat... Uh, uh, good for you and uh, maybe you learn something new I hope so uh, we see what the next video will be for now bye bye